Hello, welcome to Footprint. My name is Samuel Atamensa. We'll take a short break and when we come back, it will be uh, a continuation of our conversation with Honorable Hackman Oswajman. We'll be right back. In our previous episode, former Foreign Affairs Minister Hakman Owusu Ajiman explained the formation of the new patriotic party and why the party boycotted the 1992 general election. Welcome back. This is Footprint. Um, we are talking to Honorable Hakman Owusu Ajiman, and it's getting very interesting. For, you know, at times, I like to hear some of these because at times you meet people who tell you, oh, we're part of this beginning of MPP, we're part of, you know, I, I wouldn't know because yeah. I, was, I was just a In student. In fact, that is, you are right because... So, so we like to know who was who. I was the one who was in charge as national treasurer recording each and every donation. For the Dankwabuzia Club. For the Dankwabuzia Club too, mm -hmm. I was. And then the Friday Club where we met also at uh, Mr. Coleman Petu's house. Mr. who? Co Coleman Petu. Okay, never Coleman heard of him. Uh, he was... Um, mm. Mm. And so we had this and went around establishing the club. club clubs in various regions and cities and things like mm. that. There were very few of us, you know, it was very difficult because at Can that time... Can you just take us through some of the names that you remember when you started this whole Dan okay, Kabuzia okay. club? Darocha. Uh, B.J. Darocha. B.J. Darocha. Ajay Nimbuatin. Ajay Nimbuatin, who later on became the general secretary. General secretary, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Odoi Sykes. Odoi Sykes, Odoi yes. Odoi Sykes. I.C. Kwee. Sheikh I.C. Kwee. Sheikh I.C. Kwee. Uh, Nana Kufuado. Nana Kufuado, the president. Uh, myself, Hakman Ushwajman. Mm -hmm. Litron were joined by Litron, but he came much at that time was working for NIB. Uh, but South Marvel joined later, South Marvel came later. And um, who else can I remember? Amabuzia. Mm -hmm. Amabuzia. Mm -hmm. And uh, how about the Wyosenis? Wyosenis, as I was going to go to that. Amabuzia, Wyosenis, Amakutufo. Mm -hmm. Some of these people, Adubwani, of course, yeah. Apreku came okay. to join us, Apreku, and um, quite a few of them. All right. So uh, these yeah. are some of the names that yes, were, was Jake some, there. It was Jake Apreku, there at the time. The Kwamna Battles. Okay. Kwamna Battles was there, and uh, who else? Aminu. And there's a young man, there was a young man from uh, North called, we call him Business, but his, his name is really Amadu. Smallish young man business, and then there was um, the one who became the head of the youth wing and worked for the, what's the name again? Um, I they okay. excuse me, I mean, of course, it's but as I go along, there so. quite a few of them, so we did. And when we did the, the so called founding members, mm -hmm. I mean, people talk about it, they were not founding members, no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But we at that time we paid a hundred, I think a hundred, hundred, hundred CDs, a hundred thousand or something. Then you became a member, and then we we listed everything. And after that, then after the pressure, and movements, and on most of the time underground movements and whatever you and the rest, then we found that Rawlings's hold on the nation was beginning to loosen. So we pushed and pushed and eventually agreed that we should go become democratic. Now, in the process, then from there, from the Dankwa Buzia Club, uh, I, I shouldn't forget Freddy Ayim. Oh, was Freddy one Ayim, yes. Freddy Ayim, yeah. But Obi he was the younger one. Jacob Chebelamte mm -hmm. and all of them. And so it was beginning to loosen so we decided then to form this into a club. So we met every... Tell me, day. was Kwame Pienim part of this? Kwame Pienim, he was in jail. Oh, at the time? Yep. When we saw it. Um, um, we, we set up and the, the, the working group, which was preparing the manifesto and the constitution, met in my house. The house that I built. I was the first to build in East Legon. 
no two ways about it. No, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Because East, East Legon at the time was not an attractive place, <laughs> yeah. you should know. Yeah. Yes, yes. And we used to meet there. Mm -hmm. And then once a fortnight, when we had a bigger crowd, we would then go to Mr. Kreku house. Kreku. Oh, the one who passed not who too long Who passed on. His, his son is the engineer, Kreku. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, in all these things, I forget. Kufu and all of them were part, part of it. Of it yeah. We would go there and decide. And please, for the records, the, the list that he gave, he's not trying to say it's an exhaustive list. So yes, if he left exactly. somebody's name out, please don't start a war of he lives. He lives you Thank know. you very much for being my advocate, <laughs> by being my counsel. I guess that yeah. I offhand immediately no, 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 have to fine. do it's through. fine. Of course, you I didn't have to, have to prepare through, for this. So. Because yeah. I have forgotten even people like Professor Folson, mm -hmm. Bachelor Folson in University, yeah. the yeah. one who was really heading the uh, manifesto group and all these. Mm -hmm. But as I remember them, yeah. I, I would put them in. So we, we got uh, together and we did this. Then we decided we had to, I told you the story of how we came by the elephant. And so, um, so, first of all, the Dankwa Buzia Club, how did it change into becoming the political because party? Because the Dankwa Buzia Club, the core membership, the leadership of Dankwa Buzia Club, were all people who were of the Matimahu group, mm -hmm. of the UP group tradition. Yeah, yeah. And so, therefore, they stayed, uh, we stayed together. So, when we knew that we were going to have an opportunity to have to bring back um, political exactly, activity, party yeah. politics. Mm -hmm. Then we decided to write a manifesto and a constitution and whatever you and the rest. And so that how did you come by the name New Patriotic Party? Yes, I, I'll come to that also. Mm -hmm. So when we did, uh, um, Darocha said we should try and get a name which is close to PP, the Progress Party. And all of us were working on it. So we worked hard, and then we put this together. And at the end of the day, we said everybody who paid 100, 100 CDs, I think it was 100 CDs, you became a founding member. To Bachelor Fulton, Darocha, myself, all of us, those who paid. And we're, not, we're really not more than 110. And we paid, and that was to help. Because I'll tell you later on that even if you had a cent, you had to report it, record it and report it to the, at that time, to the military junta. And so you were asking about how... The name. The name. The name MP. Yeah, yeah. but no. So we decided that we could get as close to it as not. But before then, let me also say that we needed a symbol, we needed a, a logo... Mm -hmm. And then uh, there were so many submissions eventually. We eliminated them. We were left with two. Mm -hmm. And we were in groups, you see. Within the party, we had groups. Just as even presently, yeah. we do have groups. So the Adubahin group, Nana Akufuadu's group, he was with, Akufuadu was with the Adubahin group. Adubahin yeah. group. I was with the Safwadu group. Mm -hmm. Kwabna Batel with the Safwadu group. I see Kwe with the Safwadu group. And so they brought Tikro and Kwejina. One head, uh, is, I mean, yeah, two heads are better yeah, than one. Yeah. And they put it together. And those of us from Safwadu's group brought the elephant. But they didn't want the elephant. Some of them didn't want the elephant because sometime back in history, Kwam Safwadu wanted to form a political party. And I think the elephant would play the role there. So they didn't want it. But we uh, did a lot of argument. And then it happened in my house. And so at the end of the day, I was chairing the meeting. I said, let us now decide. Let's vote. Oh, you have to vote? Yeah. You started the democracy early. Yeah, we, we said, let's vote. We vote. We voted, and the elephant, those of us supporting the elephant, won by one vote. One? One single vote. Whew. And so I wrote down that, that I ruled as the chairman that that's it. The Tikron Krajina, we would. Couldn't stand. Shell. Couldn't stand. Yeah, so, and so we, that's how we came by the elephant. So we gave it to Jacob Bichabelamte and Fred Yaim, your friend, yeah, Fred to go and yes. develop the sign. Mm. So when they did it, they brought all these colors. And the colors were chosen also because they were the most popular colors in various other things. They, they put a round circle on it. 
So when we met, some people say, but you have, you have sort of stifled, stifled, the, exactly, stifled the elephant. You put him in a circle. And, so the elephant has to break out. And then, you know, yeah. and that's when they, again, Jake and um, Freddie and his team and Freddie then they did and that's why they have the two mm -hmm. open there. So the, there was no controversy on the voting? Well, they, when there was controversy. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> there was controversy because they, kill, they claimed that I, I sort of um, manipulated the votes. Yes, because there was a guy, uh, Yantichi, who was in London, but was part of it. And not the GFA Yantichi warning. No, not GF in Yeah, this, this is one is a doctor. Doctor Nyantichi. A doctor Nyantichi. Okay. He was very wealthy before, right? He was indeed. Yeah. So he came to the meeting in my house. When we were having a meeting, he came there and participated in the meeting all through. So when we got to the point that I said we should vote, and then he voted. And he voted for the elephant. So the elephant then beat uh, the crocodile by one. Mm -hmm. And so the following day, Amwakutufo came, Dr. Amwakutufo came to my house and held my neck. <laughs> and eventually I said, look, Kwame, you are in my house. And they all knew that I had some mafia friends. <laughs> I did. I'm not too worried about it. I have some mafia friends and you, I'll kill you before you leave this place. <laughs> all my friends in Italy, some of them were generals and mafias. Yeah, and they, all mafios. Yeah. We need them from Sicily and Sardinia at that time. Yeah, not yeah. now. Uh, and that's why you remember... When we started, they arrested me and yeah. Jake with the Italians. That's true. Bellisconi's group, you know, were yeah, arrested. Yeah, yeah. And then, That's you know, true. before That's we did. true. It was all over, you know. Yes, yeah. and uh, mm. oh, it was bad. Huh? So you adopted finally so, the elephant. Anyway, so we adopted the elephant and that, that now the rest is history. As mm -hmm. far as the name is concerned, we said we will call ourselves National Patriotic Party. So then, at the end, it would be PP. That's what we wanted, PP. So we went to Nami Akufuadu's father's hotel. The Ringo, Ringo hotel. hotel. The Ringo Hotel. Where yeah. is now, now headquarters of For the... SG, 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 uh, For Institute in Rome. And we knew we were going to announce National Patriotic Party to the world. Then Darocha, you know Darocha, yes. he had this problem, but he was quite autocratic. Oh, yes, I mean, I mean, guys. Darocha then, means, as chairman, as acting chairman, we all acting at that time, as chairman, just said, yeah, everybody's national, 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 it's too much. So on the spur of the moment, he started up and said, so our party told the press, our party's new patriotic party. I said, no, Joe, I, I, they were always sitting all over in the middle. I didn't want to start on his right. I sat on his left. I said, no, no, PJ, PJ, so guy. <laughs> his new patriotic party. That's it. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he hadn't discussed it with anybody. Yeah, A few yeah. people he had mentioned to. And that's how we came by. New NPP, new patriotic party. So that the PP would of remember course. the previous PP of the Progress, Progress party, party of yeah. the Bouziers government. That's how the thing came, uh, came. Wow. And then we started working. And then eventually we had to register the political party because the political party's law came in. And the uh, interesting thing that they made it so difficult for us that anybody who gave you more than 100 or 200, you have to record the name, how you got the money and that sort of thing. And, but we, we, we got around. And so we needed to have a Congress to eventually elect officers. We didn't have the money. Nobody had the money. So I had to fall on what I had brought from the UN because mm -hmm. I got quite a sizable amount of money mm -hmm. from them, from, um, from the pension fund of the UN. I didn't, get, I didn't wait until I, be, I, I went on to pension, no. Mm -hmm. uh, you, because can, I, 55, but I wasn't 55, so... Mm -hmm. I got all my money. So the Rocha, I remember the Rocha saying, I will find the money for the Congress. So the Rocha then brought 20 million. And it wasn't enough. They needed another 20 million. So I then gave them another 20 million and were able to hold the first Congress at Legon. Mm -hmm. And then... Which year was this? 
Uh, that was uh, 92, 92. Yeah. And so then the Rocha was acting chairman, was confirmed as chairman. Ajinuatin was confirmed as general secretary, and I was confirmed as national treasurer. And then the rest. By that time, Kwishig, Kwishigan had joined us, and um, because um, Safwadu also brought him there, and a whole lot of other people that we did. Uh, and from there, then it was all go. But most of the time, in fact, when we started the campaign, we just bought a couple of uh, six rickety old vehicles, and that's what we used campaigning all over and then the group of young people came together from the young executive club forum. forum and some of them had some better cars so we used them as i remember where we were we were we were going to have a rally a tuba he shot so nobody could see him on the roadside very small and we saw um one of the young men, I have to remember, try and remember his name, I, because I do. And we stopped. He had a car and he had a, an open a top. Open top yeah. So we stopped him. And I went to I said, look, we need your car. <laughs> they said, no, no, get down. We need that. So you get down. And they, I mean, rough. <laughs> they got down and they would put something in, on the front seat so that I, I knew I could start the day that people could see him, you know. <laughs> and then, it was very interesting. Then we went there. And that's how we never give the car back to the boy. Well, <laughs> after a while, I, I, I think it was. Uh, anyway, I remember his name. Yeah, yeah. So, and then we started organizing. Then, because before then, using the Damkwa Buzia Club that we had established Establish in various yeah. uh, districts to help us at the organization, and almost all of them took them. And that's how we, we got on. But quite obviously, they knew that if we voted, we would win. And the NDC had also been formed. Also a champion who left our camp to go there, it was them with them, and all of them knew that once we would win. So Rawlings made life very, very difficult for us. And um, decided that we should do the elections first, the, uh, the president. And then after that, the Parliament. One week pa parliamentary, after. yes. Parliamentary, yeah. And so when we did, we knew, and there was a lot of intimidation, what have you, and the rest. Wow. And when we did, uh, he said he had won. But we believed sincerely mm -hmm. that he did not win. Mm -hmm. And so, to cut the long story short, he said, uh, when, and then, we, then we came back to headquarters. Meanwhile, we thought, I thought, that... Um, if we didn't have a premises for holding meetings, mm -hmm. should anything happen to us, the party, if you don't meet, you die, die. So I told them, let us buy a headquarters. Everybody, everybody was against it. So this said, was in 92? That was in 92, yeah. Okay. And I said, okay, I will do that. So my cousin, J.M. from Begro, was selling his car. So I got it. I, I, I paid a deposit and paid the money virtually for it. And then we got that as our headquarters. This is in Kokomlemle. Kokomlemle. This is the first one in Kokomlemle. Mm -hmm. So then I paid for it. That About that time, Kwam Piedim mm -hmm. was released from prison, mm -hmm. you know, after the amnesty before the election. So okay. he came and helped us uh, with six million CDs at that time. And then uh, what I have paid... And then we paid off the... So uh, that's how you acquired the first head office. That's how we acquired I mean, that. I paid for it. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the that, access to that place was so narrow. I, I was yes, wondering... Because we didn't have money. We never didn't have any place. So uh, you changed when you got money. Sorry? You changed the headquarters when you got no, money. No, we haven't really changed. What, what we have at uh, Salam Dine is nothing to write home about. <laughs> we, are, we are now going to try and raise funds to build... An iconic building, which will be you shown to match the NDC we, boot for boot or do or die. Yeah, but yeah, I mean they have <laughs> built that, so we can also build, and then we would do that. So okay. Then um, we um, sort of then decided so you, so to you, come back. When we came back to headquarters, now some group was saying that we should boycott the elections. Another group was saying after the presidential. Yes, after the presidential, okay. where we, we, we claim that we have been cheated, where we knew we had been cheated, 
they we said it's no use going uh, do it because if you whatever you do the people would uh, do that so in a lot of places for example we gave our support to i think p something uh, there, uh, there was a a group now became PNC or something. I've forgotten it. Mm -hmm. We gave our, our, our vote, but I know it in my constituency. But generally, you boycotted the, the parliament. After that, we gave team. our vote, our support to Nyema Donko, for example, mm -hmm. and then he won. But we then, amongst ourselves, were divided. A group, basically, now that we, his history we are really talking to, mm -hmm. I so must tell the truth. Let's hold it here. We'll come back to this one. We'll just take a short break. Um, when we come, I'd like you to hold on with the politics because we've now done the formation of the MPP. Yes. We'll get into how it was run in the various elections. But there's something more personal that I'd like to, to get into before. So after the break, remember Sikilele Paints. <laughs> Sikilele Paints. <laughs> now, he has something to do with it, and I'd like for him to tell us about it. But for now, we'll take a short break. You've been listening to Honorable Hackman Owusu-Ajiman, if you just joined us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Footprint. Um, we are talking to Honorable Hackman Owusu-Ajiman. And it's getting very interesting. Um, so, 92, he's told us about MPP's involvement in the elections, 92. I think it was the 1st of December or something like that. And then, at the time... Um, presidential elections was not on the same ballot uh, um, and the same day as parliamentary. They would have them one week apart. And so once the presidential elections were held, they knew that they were chopping last, but they also believed that it was fraudulent. They didn't allow you to take external funding. No. But they could take from Abacha. Well, that is a, subsequently, <laughs> and that's where I put the motion in parliament i moved the motion which ended up in the fight in right. parliament yes, 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 yes. And that's when i got to know they wouldn't let us do it uh, but they did it mm -hmm. and so when i got it i, I put a motion in parliament and they wouldn't allow speaker annan yes annan to admit the motion it went around so for the first time in the history of ghana it, a written response was given to my motion and then I said no. I looked at it. Um, I look at the rules, and I thought there was an. So I said, okay, if I come by substantive motion, then I it could not stop me. And we have a a book which is almost like the Bible for parliament MPs. What is it called again? I remember. Anyway, so I went and I said no. We couldn't uh, do what you are doing. And so we had information from within, from our intelligence sources, that uh, uh, money has been given, has been carried by a special plane, and from there straight to the castle, and what have you. And so we moved this motion, and um, Anand, that way I, I really take off my heart for him, said, when I said, at one day, and the history, this is history, too, I'm not hiding anything. One day he told me, at 5 a.m., the topmost brand, about seven of them, NDC gurus, came to him and said, don't allow that motion to be debated. And he said, I stopped him, I issued a title, and the man has come now with a substantive motion, and I can't stop it. He said, I am a judge. I'm not a politician, as I'm a judge. As a judge, it means that you have given judgment, and the man says, I want to appeal, say, I won't allow you to appeal. So, I mean, that one he did very well. And then he says, We come. So I came, but he said, He comes and he says, You shouldn't touch on this, you shouldn't touch on that, you speak only. This. So then I said, Okay. And then I asked Anna Kufuado to second my motion. Because, you know, he has a good rule uh, with the English. So I, said, I moved the motion, and then I asked Nanado to support the motion. So, to second the motion. So, when I had put the motion that he took, and my concern was that it had brought the presidency into disrepute. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you take money from other people, 
and you don't accept any bribe or assistant to a mad matter. So when I finished, I had only two pages, but it took me over two hours to read them because they, they, and that day, every senior member of NDC was there. All ministers, those were MPs, were not MPs. Were there. It was fantastic. I think it was 19... This was, this was, this was 97. 98, 98 or something. Ending 97, the, that took us into 98. 98 yeah, yeah, 88. December. Yeah, December, December and 97, then 98, yeah. They came. So Nanadu then, when I finished, Nanadu was now seconding the motion. And as was seconding the motion, the way he was going, everybody, did, at least the, in, the, in the foyer, they knew that we, we had a good point. So this guy, Champon, from the other side, from NDC side, the the right, came in and the, 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 the back benches were always given, they were cheering us on and on. So as the Kuvadu was speaking, they came and um, gave a blow to oh. another guy from, called a Champon, who was an MP from, I think, from Bekwai. Oh. And he also hit him back. So there was a scuffle. And eventually, we managed to stop it. And I remember just what he hit Nana Kufado when he was speaking. Sorry, Nana Kufado was speaking. We were in the front bench, yeah, but this happened in the back. Oh, okay, okay. So then a champion from NDC, NDC. hit a champion from MPP. MPP. Oh, okay. So all these things were a whole lot of confusion, yeah. When things settled, and said, I got up. I have seen that I was moving. I said, Mr. Speaker, mm -hmm. what's happening here? What this is all this? And Mr. he says, I did not see anything. <laughs> I, I said, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> I said, Mr. Speaker, I can live with blindness. That willful blindness, you have willful blindness, before. I cannot live with. I remember very well. I remember. And, and so that was really, so the, 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 Nanadu could not finish his uh, Second, so, uh, yeah. second second in, in the motion and then it was so all let me just very interesting back a bit so at this point everything you are saying now is um for the 96 the parliament that started early 97 after the 96 elections yes. remember some of the names of the mpp parliamentarians that you entered parliament with oh uh, at that time jh mensa uh nana kufuado hartman Utrajman, Osafu Mafo, um, SK Boafo, IC Quay, um, uh, Adukufo, Dr. Adukufo, uh, Dr. Adukufo, uh, Teresa Tego, mm -hmm. Mrs. Asma, mm -hmm. uh, Papa Usu Ankuma, Kwam Nabatels, Kwam Nabatels, uh, a champion and uh, from the court. Also, oh, Dwayne Sykes. Sorry? Oh, Dwayne Sykes. He, he was never a, an MP. Oh, okay, okay. He, okay. he tried Odo Odo, do, 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 but he didn't yeah. win. Yeah. Mm, he didn't become an MP. And all of that, neither did Darocha, he tried. And so, yeah. we were there, and uh, this little group, and so their first shot after we have come into parliament is when we got the 61 votes. And by the next shot, 61 we, seats. Sorry, 61 seats. Yes, 61 seats. seats. Sorry, 61 seats. Yeah. And uh, by that, uh, after that, we. But we, most of them were in the Akan areas, right? Yes. I mean, voter region, we never got anything. You still don't have. And not we. We never got anything, and at any time we have won. Even the one that we have to take away. You, and you now have one right now, right? Now, now we have won here yeah, by Amu. And that was under under serious, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, Hohoi, I think it's Hohoi. Hohoi, yes, 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 yes. And you so think then you retain it mainly from the Akan areas. Yes, indeed. Do you think you re you can retain it? Well, that's it. Hohoi, now. Well, he tells me he can. He's the one wearing the shoes, so he knows where it hurts. <laughs> he says he can. So I th I think he will try. But okay. then, yes, uh, most of the most of the votes came from the Akan area. So when we got. And then after that, then of course, Kufo. So won. this will be your first time in Parliament. Sorry, you. No, my first time in Parliament was nine was nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now. Yeah, that, that, the, all of us, all of us together. Oh, but you had the JH Mensens. Oh, they uh, had been in Parliament. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That 
Previously. Uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. He was the only one who had previous experience of parliament. Oh, but Kufo had. Kufo was of course, he didn't MP. come again. But how about S.K. No. S.K. Boafu had been uh, in parliament um, Could we, yeah. with Buzia. Yes. Yeah. Yes. At the time of the champion, yeah. Is it Very few of them. I see. I see. I'm not so sure. But I see. Very, too had I see. Very few of them. Yeah. Were MPs. J.H. also a champion. Of course. Had J.H. had moved, moved from us mm -hmm. to NDC. Mm -hmm. And then so. But it, what was the, what was the um, feeling like, you know, now that you met you know the people who are ruling the country now all in parliament and no it was it was interesting because um um although we were antagonistic to ourselves in debates and whatever you and the rest when we closed we would sit down and chat and whatever you but for our group our main purpose was to make sure that we worked and we worked really hard mm. and we did work hard and then we gave for the first time, they didn't have that system, maybe because they were in government, but we had a system of uh, what we call um, spokesperson or shadow ministers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so Nanad was the shadow attorney general, I was shadow foreign, foreign minister. Affairs, yeah. because, all because when I, uh, of my diplomatic experience, and Nanad before I think was health, and Kwamna Batel was works and housing, and uh, you know, we, all these were so called shadow ministers and um, now they call them ranking members or something and so with that and then we had groups we have committees that dealt with each subject and so and then that also then included those who were not members of parliament but who were outside like suffered for example mm -hmm. we brought into the organization committee or into the agricultural committee and all these then um, help us to prepare ourselves. And to a very large extent, when we won the elections... The, the primaries, Subsequently, mean, no, the I, mean, the, I mean, well, that Congress was also another palaver. Well, that's what I was just talking about. <laughs> but then, then, then all the, all the so-called shadow ministers or spokespersons, most of them, apart from Apreku, who was financed, but he was shifted to... Trade, trade, yeah. No, South Marfu brought to that. Uh, well, apart from that, most of us retained what we had. So what's your... But as far as um, the other, what you were asking was concerned, um, yes, uh, it, were, it was difficult getting through to what we had to do, but the people there were prepared to sacrifice for whatever happened for us to make sure we came into power. And the election prior to this was also quite contentious. You know, you like mean the election of our, our, our election. Primaries. Our, yeah, our primaries. I really want us to talk about that. What you remember, your memories of yes. that primaries. Is that the one we did in Sunyani? Yeah, the Sunyani one. Sunyani. That's why Kufuadu and Apeku yeah. and Alhaz, ma, uh, ma, ma, Alhazan. Alazan, the one who won the, the chairman of the youth wing. Okay. He's the guy I was trying to remember. To remember. Okay, so we'll come back to that. We'll just take a break. Now, uh, you, you've been listening to Hakman um, you know, entering parliament in 97 and telling us about um, some of um, the members of the cohorts and some of the high points uh, being in parliament for the first time um, as a person. And then um, when we come back, you know, something prior to um, the 2000 elections, which is the MPP Congress, the Congress uh, in Sunyani, right? The, was the, the Congress? Wasn't it at Legon? I think it was at Legon. The Sunyani one was 98. Yes, the nine, that's what I'm saying. The, uh, yeah, okay, the 98, 98 one. That's where the confusion really started, yes. right? Okay, so we'll take a short break. Masumiya Mudepa, let's take a short break. When we come back, we'll be talking to um, Honorable Hackman on his, uh, what he remembers about that one. Yeah. Stay tuned. This is Footprint. Welcome back. This is Footprint with Honorable Hackman Um If you are, you just joined in um, on radio, on City TV, um, 
you, you've missed a lot, but you can always catch up on, on YouTube. Um, go on YouTube and look for City Tube, you'll find it there. Um, so, Honorable, so we had the 98th uh, Congress in Sunyani, and there were um, a few issues. Um, who were some of the contestants? Uh, it was a very interesting. Uh, it was Kufo, Leonardo. Mm-hmm. That would be the second running of Kufo. Yes. After Kufo versus Dubai. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, first uh, Adubuai, then they tried again, the Kufo one, and the second one of Kufo. <laughs> so it was Kufo, Nanado. So Nanado Malik. also contested in the primaries. Already in 98, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Nanado, Apreku, and Malik. Alaji Malik. Yes, sir. Okay. And, uh, that's but you did not. Sorry? You didn't. No. Okay. No. Uh, I bugged out because I. Uh, you well, thought you sometimes support. people were talking to people and yeah, so of course. Back, back, yeah. back room no I, did, I didn't I didn't no right. I didn't so Kufo won that one yes, and sir. he was presented as the candidate for 2000 elections yes sir now 2000 elections one of the because I was in the media then um, yes. prior to that was 98 thereabout so um, one of the major challenges for the MPP was lack of funding no money. How did you raise the money to do the 2000 elections? Well, at that time... Well, at that time, your money you brought from Abuja was well, finished, but I was then also working. That's when I was selling all the paint and all these other oh, things. Oh, so you so made I, money from that? Yeah, but I made... A, I put most of my resources at the, at the disposal of the party. Of the party, yeah. Yeah, but when we... we it wasn't too bad. I, I was prepared to give that... Uh, to them, and that is when we also had um, Berlusconi's people from Italy. And they, they sneaked into the country to come and see you. Well, they came, I mean, when they, they did what? They sneaked into the country. They didn't sneak in. They, come, they came through the airport. They no, of, course, of course, of course. <laughs> I mean, they didn't, they didn't come with MPP labels. No, That's no, what no, I they, mean. They, yes, exactly. <laughs> eventually, eventually, um, eventually, they, and they, were they arrested us and they put, kept us in the there for about two days in the police headquarters. But seriously, um, we had to find the money to win the elections. And some people... So where did you get the money from? Individual collections, and we had, um, we had um, fundraising activities. And uh, I was very active. We were very active with Teresa Tego and um, all the Teresa Tego and the Young Executive Forum. Okay, so okay, get the get the the yeah, all of them were yeah. all involved. So tell me if you can confirm this. Control. We were told then that you, you, you tried raising money from Nigeria, but they, they, they did not help. Some of these things cannot can don't deserve answers, do they? No, I mean, not Nigeria yeah. government. I mean, not Nigeria. Well, uh, but in no, no, no. no. We went, we, we went all over the place. I mean, um, there's no two ways about it uh, to go. You even China. went to Angola. Well, I'm not too sure about that one. <laughs> but whatever it is, and the people outside were helping. <laughs> and they helped us quite a bit. And uh, we were able to. Uh, otherwise, we could not. It, because everything we did, yeah. Rawlings would try to put the school Squeeze on. You, and, yeah, and, and, yeah. And it was so difficult. Enter year 2000. At that time, did you have the incline that you were going to win the elections? Yes, I mean. Whether that was possible. It was going to be a hop, step, and jump. Jump, yeah. Because from 61, but somehow we were confident that the people of Ghana needed a change and that they had uh, had enough of these. Um, semi-autocratic role even yeah. under NDC. And, democracy. and so we thought, we, we knew we would Going win. into that elections, who was the party chairman? Was uh, it Peter what, Rajit? What did uh, Harun Iseku? No, 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 no. no. What did Harun Iseku? Was I it? think it was Harun Iseku. Okay, okay. But Alajete was party chairman at some point, right? No. Before, before that one, and then he, he, he sort of stepped down. He didn't get on at all with um, our candidate, Kufo. Well, he didn't believe he would win anyway. Um, and then uh, it was, that was difficult. It was uh, one of the most difficult times yeah, for us. but it's okay to talk about it. Sorry? It's okay to talk about it. I mean, you're not... The thing is, you see, I'm, I'm bringing this in 
uh, because knowing the relationship between President Kufour at the time and Peter Alajete of blessed memory, it would, it, would, it would be interesting to see how Alajete then becomes speaker. Oh, <laughs> you see, at the time we won the election, actually it was Audrey Sides was chairman. Audrey Sides. Okay. Because I was in the, one of your colleagues called me and said we were doing to try and convince uh, Mills, I think it was Mills, to sort of um, throw in the towel to say that mm -hmm. Kufu has won. So it was on my telephone that he called. Mm -hmm. And I gave the phone in, in um, uh, Odessa's house. Yeah. And um, I gave the phone to Kufour. He said, um, he, Mills wanted to speak to Kufour. So I gave it to Kufour and Kufour said, and I heard, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, he said. I think we've gone there because I think he was thanking him for sort of conceding. Mm -hmm. And that was in um, the house of... Uh, um, Udoi Sykes, Sykes, yes. Mm. Uh, but as I said, bef the, before that time, there was this misunderstanding about Concordia. Yeah. Concordia, the thing that Kufo had bought through the his motorbikes, age, right? Sorry? What is the motorbikes? Motorbikes and yeah. other things uh, that we have bought. Yeah, motorbikes and, and society. Yes, and cycles and a whole lot of other things. But Alajeti was saying that. Kufour did not do the procurement through the party. Mm -hmm. And the, so that, so when the time came, we didn't have the money to pay. Now we should, he should pay personally. And I said, no, when, the, when these motorcycles and this thing came, I distributed them in the name of the party. So really, even if he didn't do it with the, with the concurrence of the national executive, at least we have said that it was our part the party did it and this concordia became it almost broke down it broke our party yeah i remember at left, one point yeah. we went to a meeting and then i'm a buzia and um it is uh, so this is history that one uh i'm a buzia mrs uh, mrs um uh, asthma were crying because there was not there was a misunderstanding everybody mm. knew there was a misunderstanding for you cited it so I'm not letting out anything there apart yeah. from maybe yeah, the details. But, you know, yeah. And so, therefore, it was. But I think if you have a political party, once in a while there will be misunderstandings. Yeah. And so, anyway, and so then, even, even in our case, I remember very well that Rocha worked very hard for Dubuahi. But they were not the best of friends. Mm -hmm. They were not the best of friends. Right. That Rocha's candidate was Dr. Uh, from the Kumasi, Dr. Johnny Selby. Johnny Selby, yeah, brilliant. that's correct. Of course, Johnny Selby was his candidate, <laughs> right? And so all these things happened. But he's such a good um, Democrat that when I do what he won, he gave everything, all the support and everything that we could do with that. Uh, likewise, the same thing, Kufo and uh, Alajiti, mm -hmm. whatever it is, they even quarreled and everything, but it's still make sure that the party's interest, and this is why the younger people don't understand that, the party's in, it's supreme. Mm. Nothing else but that. <clears throat> so, uh, we, we were very pleased, and that set the good example for okay. all of us, mm. that if you put the party first, we will come to it. These days, I don't know whether people really put the party first. And that's why, for example, um, I remember once you asked me about the house at uh, North Ridge, at Ridge, who yeah. the electoral commission. Yeah. I bought the house, uh, I mean, one of these UAD houses, number 12. And I put it at the disposal of the of party, party. So we could meet there. Okay. And exchange ideas and things like that. Because I was, I believe. But you are just a consummate MPP politician. I mean, the, the, you give out a house to the party. Is yes. that correct? Mm -hmm. the, is that the Koko Memle house? The Koko Memle house, yes, I bought it. it was, and, and you gave it to them for free? Yes, I didn't get my money back. And the Kwan Pien, Sef Kwan Pien, who topped it up for me. Okay. And then right. this one, too, th that was Koko yeah. This one is the one directly opposite the Electoral Commission, yes. yeah. number 12. And then I said also, 
We use it as a clubhouse. Okay. So that we will but meet But you didn't them. transfer ownership to the party? No, no, I did not. Okay. I did not, but, no. I mean, for all intents and purposes, yeah. it was available. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I did not. But what, if we did everything there. We had uh, restaurants and things there. And mm -hmm. So that they would meet and talk. And right now, this last time, although it has changed hands, yeah. it had to change hands because yeah. I was getting broke. <laughs> <laughs> this time well, your is still it was even the, it's still it's the really place. Broke. <laughs> it was still the place that is uh, um, the, was the party seat of uh, operational yeah. headquarters yeah. for the campaign That's correct. of these last two. Good. And we really, our people, I mean, you didn't have to pay anybody to ask him to climb the hill to go and see the Krobo people on that hill to get the vote. Did he have to, did he have to pay anybody to say walk through the road and go to the farms? And we're doing all these things. Right now, when you ask the young people to do, first thing you have to do, you have to pay them. And so that, that commitment, dedicated, unadulterated commitment to MPP, to democracy or to the Dankwabuzia Dumbo tradition seem to be but I don't think it's something unique to MPP. NPP NDC will be saying the same things to you that say hey, now a young NDC person to get them to cross the river you have to pay them. And so I think it's a Ghana problem rather than an MPP thing. Um, that yeah, I can if tell it, you. if it's now you are saying yeah, yeah, and I'm you are the that. one who has that uh, a whole look at all the thing, mm -hmm. uh, panoramic view of the situation, and you see that is it. Then it's about time we change the mindset. Oh, definitely of the people, definitely. And to say that commitment was more important than uh, than money. That that is it. The empire, what they say now, the empire is sika. But our people, right now, but of and then they will come and tell you that. Uh, the older generation have nothing to offer. But Kaunda said, experience you can never buy. You can never buy experience because the commitment and the experience that we have, a lot of things happen and it, 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 it will not happen in our time. Because we I have mean, the experience is, is, you know, is, so is, I, is essential I think that, in all the things we I do. I think that some, um, those of you who have the, um, the facility and entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial ability to do this, I think what you need to propagate is a commitment of our people to the development of this nation, that Ghana first and everything else second. Mm. But if we make it individual first, Ghana second, we have a problem. So you're and a minister for three, on three different occasions. Sorry? You're, you're a minister. Uh, you yes. were a minister on three different occasions. Yes. You were first um, foreign, a foreign foreign minister mm -hmm. um, in um, 2001. To 2003. Yeah. Um, and I remember your vetting. I went with you. I see. Of course. And after that, we went to um, Adaraka to go eat fufu. Fufu? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's that why I was saying that ever since you... You went for your uh, doctorate and your master's. I don't see you anymore. Uh, that's, that's something. That's something. That's, that's true. That's true. Yes, yes, yes. That's you know, true. Okawe, Okawe, when you finish that, is that? Okawe, I said, is it? But you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Can you imagine that the, the foreign minister elect is sitting in my car? We're not going to Novo Hotel. We're we going to have a catch up to go eat. <laughs> And then but, you, but you, you were one of a, you know, one of a lot, eh? Yes. A lot of people loved you. <laughs> we oh, thank God. Us, huh? We thank God. And uh, that's why we keep asking you, as your father, the man who had the state farms. No. no but you know, <laughs> you, you had actually, that. Actually, my father actually belonged to the NDC. Actually. NDC. Yes, I mean, my father was, uh, you know, the CPP yeah, remnants, the group, yeah. we in the central region that yeah, moved yeah, into yeah, yeah. NDC with um, Uncle Atul Dadzi oh. and the, you know, court. So, no, yeah, you but became I, an icon. I mean, yeah. I, I tell me, sir, I even at that time, everybody uh, wanted you in their camp. Yeah, we thank God oh, for oh, us. Why are they? You really, you have really done well. Thank you so for some, much for for, for this. Um, yeah. What what we supposed to do for the fourth 
estate, estate or whatever they call it. But right. some of your colleagues just destroy people for no cause without wow. even checking. And then yeah. before yeah. you know, and this now with the, this new thing, What's up? social media yeah. or something, <laughs> before you know, they have destroyed you. Wow. And sometimes you build your Might reputation hard way. I mean, I tell you, look, when I was working as chief of Africa Bureau in the UN or when I was even there, sometimes I haven't seen my family for about a month. Yeah. And when you come, the following day you go. And my son, I hadn't seen because I always worked and I needed to work hard and then I came home about 9, 10 p.m. So he's sleeping. And I have to get to the office early enough so that I can have a parking space and also start work. So the whole week I don't see my child until Saturday. And this is and all of us work hard. And this is what we have to inculcate into the people. average Ghanaian. Yeah. Yeah. Money quick making is no good. And if we are being told that uh, things are becoming very difficult, then this is the time for us all to rise up and to say, let us do what will save Ghana. I mean, you started young man and eventually, I am told, I don't even know that uh, City FM and City Television, you have a huge stake and uh, it's sort of um, revolving around on your reputation as a person who everybody likes and everybody. Hmm. And I, ha I haven't heard of you in any controversy I had to put a lot of people to court, including uh, 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 my, my own frequency part. I sent him to court, he lost, and then he had to come and beg. I have taken four newspapers to court, and all of them has lost. You know, so I think it's about time that hmm. we, we, we reorientate the mentality of the people who are in your tradition. And it behoves you and your senior colleagues to do what is right but not what would make you them. Because otherwise, you know, we have a problem. And that was, by the way, you brought yeah. the issue and that was... <laughs> so, go on. <laughs> it's, that's very informal. And I like it. Yeah. Well, that's much fine. I like that's it. fine. So, go so on. tell me, so went. after Foreign Affairs, you went to, I think, um, you took over from Kwame Battelle's. Is that correct? No, in At oh. that time, I, Adukufo was acting as interior minister. When, when Malik, yeah. after the, the Gabon, the, the Gabon crisis, yeah, he, resigned, so he had right? to leave. He yeah. resigned. Mm -hmm. And then for a while, uh, Adokufo was acting uh, both at defense and, and interior. interior. And I yeah. took over from him. Okay. So you did foreign affairs and then interior. Yes. And then Kufo's second term, you went to water resources. And, yes. In uh, fact, it was and Minister of Works and Works Housing. And, housing. Yeah. and I told him that water was very important and that we needed to see how water was placed in the configuration of the executive where water was. So anybody who wanted to assist the water sector, which is the most important, there was need to do that. Mm -hmm. So I submitted a memo, said I call it Water Resources, Works, Works and Housing. And I remember President Gufo since then calling me Water Resources. <laughs> so when we go to cabinet BT, he say, what are resources? What, what you have to take? <laughs> but I felt very proud of it that at yeah. least water yeah. is giving the important idea because otherwise we will going to. So right. then I did water resource works and housing, yes. And until I joined the 17 musketeers or whatever they call wow, them. <laughs> that's one, yeah, for the 2018 election. <laughs> that was terrible. Honorable Hackman, I think we need to bring our conversation to a close now. Sure. Um, I mean, you, you've done, you've done um, excellence in, in politics and in your life. Um, a good example to be emulated by all standards. And we thank you for uh, what you've done for this country. And we also thank you from City TV for giving us your time. Um, so, listeners, uh, so, um, before you go, let me thank you most sincerely for this opportunity to say one of the things that I've never said before to anybody and to give sometimes the insight into yeah. this. Yeah. It was all meant as a way of educating the people, and people who want to write the history of this country must know the facts as they are. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And so I think I, I, it was not intended at all against at all. anybody. As you said, sometimes you even shielded me by saying that he means this and not that. <laughs> and I, I like to thank you most sincerely. But also I want to wish you well because you very much. through the medium of what you control, you'll be able to shave, uh, shape the mentalities and the appreciation of the people. Mm. So really, I can only remember what I was Kipling or somebody who said, uh, silver and gold have I none. All I have is my dreams. Mm -hmm. I've put them under your feet. Mm -hmm. Tread softly Amen. because you tread on my dreams. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, Ghana, we don't give you that much. The world we have our dreams, our aspirations to go forward. But we have put this under your feet because you can cause confusion. You can let us kill ourselves. So that's what we have done, put under your feet. And so tread softly because you tread on our dreams. And the dreams of the people of the younger generation must not be thwarted in any way. Let them realize their dreams. And that means in an atmosphere of peace and tranquility, which would uh, help everybody. So I thank you most sincerely for this chat. Thank you. Thank you. You've been watching Footprints, and you just heard the voice of Honorable Hackman Oswajiman. Thank you for watching. My name is Samuel Atamensan.